So in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to disable BIOS slash automatic firmware updates. And this is going to be done on Windows 11. So this is my one of my client's laptops. Uh, fortunately, I don't have an external capture device to capture display port. So you want to go to start menu and type in device manager and you want to go to device manager and you want to look for a device that says firmware in this case and we're going to expand this depending on your hardware you might see one firmware device or you might see three or two or four depending on your system in this case on this dell xbx i think it's an xbx we have three and basically you want to disable it by right clicking on each device and you want to disable from or you cannot disable by right clicking on the on the main root or the main device category basically you need to right click on each of these and disable it so this is method that i'm showing you here and you want to hit yes obviously is you would use basically if you do not have an option to disable firmware updates within the bias itself basically so you would disable all of your firmware devices that you have listed under firmware and that's basically it at this point uh, windows updates will no longer be able to see what kind of firmware version you're running and force down updates the proper way of disabling firmware updates would be through the bias like i mentioned earlier so you would want to shut your system down and you would want to enter into the bias depending what your system is this key during boot up sequence could be different depending once again on the manufacturer in this case i'm pressing f2 to enter into the dell's bias setup right here so you want to navigate bottom left corner you want to click right here update and recovery so basically you want to look for this uefi firmware updates option and basically you want to turn it off this will prevent windows from updating bias automatically and this is the best way of doing it in the proper way when it comes to best practices and you want to hit apply and obviously you also want to mark this as safe as custom user settings so for whatever reason you do bias update manually all of these settings are retained uh, so also depending on what kind of system you have you might not even have this option to disable firmware updates so you'll have to use the first method i showed you so after you disable it you apply your settings you will hit exit the system will reboot and i actually want to show you something interesting so after disabling uh, firmware updates within bias the most interesting thing if you go to device manager again the firmware section here is actually missing so what that option actually does it actually disables those three devices or drivers whatever you want to call them so windows will no longer see basically those devices it won't be able to talk to the bias or ufi system anymore so therefore disabling firmware updates slash bias updates through windows updates so this is the proper way of doing it method two basically is the proper and best way of doing it and that's it i hope you learned something new and have a nice day